Jenny here. As I was going through my recipes deciding what I wanted to make this week, I came across a recipe that I had from my friend Maria. And if you've been watching my channel recently, you'll see that in some of the latest vlogs I did, I've been mentioning Maria. She passed away seven years ago this past July. And so yeah, she's been, she's been on my mind. I've been talking about her. I had had her scrapbooks to be able to go through, so I just did that, seeing as we just had our reunion. And this was perfect timing to do that. And so I figured it's perfect timing to make this. So today we are going to make Maria's meatballs. Let's get started. For this recipe, we are going to need two pounds of ground beef, one and a half cups of breadcrumbs, one quarter cup of chopped onion, half a cup of milk, one and a half teaspoons of salt, two eggs, and an 18 ounce bottle of barbecue sauce. I went ahead and cut up the quarter cup of onions that we need. If you have extra onion and you don't have a recipe that you're going to use it in right away, what I like to do is I cut up the whole onion, put it into a baggie, put it into a second baggie, just because onions smell a lot and you can smell it through the baggie. So put it in a second baggie to help with that, um, the scent of it, and then I throw this in the freezer. So then when I'm ready to make one of the soups, like I've been doing with making making a couple batches of soups every weekend and stuff, one for my for my mom and one for us, then I just take these and I put them in the freezer and they're good to go for when I'm ready to make another recipe that I'm not filming. <laughs> now we will just go ahead and combine all of our ingredients except for the barbecue sauce. So we have our ground beef. Ooh. Whee! Oh, this is going to be big enough. I'm going to wash my hands. <laughs> real life, people. Real life. Um, okay. I like that these breadcrumbs come into a baggie that have a sealed top on them so that you can seal it off in between using them. Now I found the best way to mix this all up is with your hands. Obviously you can use spoon or whatever, but um, egg on me. I'm going to take my ring off for this so that I don't get that messed up. I'll put it on my ring holder. Oof. Nothing like being prepared, right? All right. We are just going to mix this all up together then. Oh, the textures. Oh, I don't like getting my hands messy. I do because I have to. As Elton Brown would say, these are the, the best two tools that God has given us with our hands. I think I could have used a bigger bowl too. Didn't realize the meat was going to be about to big. Just when I think I've got it all mixed up, then I see a couple <laughs> onions sticking out or <laughs> whatever. A couple of them together. Take them apart, squish them in there. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. And now we will go grab our 9 by 13 pan. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. 
Then we are going to roll this meat mixture into one inch balls, put it in our nine by 13 pan, and then bake it for 30 minutes. And then we're gonna put the barbecue sauce on and bake it some more. So, because the meat's gonna sit right on the bottom of the tray, I'm going to spray some nonstick spray on there. My cute little misto sprayer that I've got some olive oil in. Hopefully this should be prevent that from sticking to the bottom of the pan. And we'll just... <laughs> I was thinking about I needed to cut the onions a little smaller so that they would fit in the meatballs, but anyways, see what we can do. I'm going to roll our, our meatballs up. Once your pan is all ready to go, we are cooking it in that 375 degree oven for 30 minutes. Then we are going to put the barbecue sauce on and cook it for another 30 minutes. So, here we go for round one. <whistles> 30 minutes is up, so we will take these out and then pour our barbecue sauce on. Mm, it smells good. Looking pretty good, starting to brown up. Oh, good. Grab a spoon. Let's stir these up so they get coated in the sauce. They're all coated. Make sure that they are back in a single layer again. See, we kind of sort of like just flipped them all over also. So they didn't stick to the pan at all, which is good. And now we will cook them for another 30 minutes. Timer has gone off. So these should be all good to go. It smells good. Looks good. They're done. They look nice and brown. All the watery juices are all boiling in there, making sure it's all cooked through. So we will let that cool and then give them a taste. There are a few meatballs taken out of this pan already, but 35 was the total that we had made. Maria's meatballs are all done. 
they look really good. They came out well. I was um, happy that they didn't get too cooked. After I took them out after 30 minutes, I could see they were starting to brown a little bit, but mixing them up and all that, that extra 30 minutes was just perfect. They are done on the inside. I did kind of cut one apart a little bit. Um, you can see on my little tray. So yeah, so that don't have to worry about that. Um, the barbecue sauce does come in multitude of flavors, so you can make any flavor of the meatballs that you want. I just used a regular sauce. I know there was a honey one. There's like a sweet and sour. Obviously, you could use like spaghetti sauce and all that too if you want. Spaghetti and meatballs. I just made this recipe as doing it as like a snack. And so I know you can also then put these in a crock pot. If, if for your family or if you're going somewhere to share them or for a family gathering, um, put them in a crock pot, put it on low or on, on like warm. And then they can sit out for that until they're eaten. I'm sure they'll be one of the first things that are gone. <laughs> they usually are. Meatballs usually go quickly because they taste so good. So let's give this a taste. Let's see, I've got an onion in there too. Got that. Hit a flavor on the tongue right away. Have an onion. Very tasty. I don't put a lot of saucy stuff like on my hamburgers, but so it's like a hamburger with a lot of extra flavor. So obviously more than just ketchup, but to have that extra little tangy, tangy goodness in there. This is good. Hmm. Yeah, if this were, you know, served as a snack out there, it will be gone in a heartbeat. <laughs> so two thumbs up for me. Anyways, I will leave this recipe down in the description below. Let me know in the comments down below if you make meatballs, if you like to eat meatballs, what your favorite flavor is, if you just prefer meatballs and spaghetti and meatballs. I usually do spaghetti and meat sauce, not the actual meatballs, but maybe. Now that I know how to make these, I can make meatballs for the next time we do spaghetti. But anyways, you guys, keep it positive. Go make it a great day. Bye-bye. I'm going to enjoy some more of my snack. Mm. Yummy! Mm -mm -mm.